Welcome to another trip down Normandy Road where we catch you up with everything going on with Swansea City. And before we get into this week's match with Rotherham, let's go backward. Last game that happened before the international break, which has turned a good start for Swansea into currently sixth in the table. Here's your highlight to the 1-0 loss to Norwich City at Carrow Road, thanks to Swans TV and YouTube. Anxious moments, born inside the penalty area, touched off, low shot, and it's crept ah. in. Six minutes <laughs> to go. And it's Slipperman, and the big German from the edge of the penalty area has put it to the left of Freddie Woodman to break the deadlock. Now as we get you ready for the match against Rotherham, let's hear from manager Steve Cooper on a couple of different points. First one has to do with the international break and a player or two that have had a lot of work in the international time frame and might be a little dinged up heading into this weekend and the stretch of games that happens between now and the first of the year. You mentioned players going away. Uh, I'll ask about any injuries to those who have been away. One, of course, being Andre Ayew. Yeah, well, Andre and Mark Gay both both came back early from from international duty, uh, more precautionary than, than than anything else. Obviously, they'd had a a really busy schedule with, with us. I think they played every minute of every league game. I think up until now, and um, obviously, then going into a, a full on international camp, you know, they naturally going to be to be tired so like everybody you know at, at risk of um of fatigue and then from fatigue you know you can start feeling some strains and um you know muscle soreness etc so so they came back early precautionary the the, the doubts i guess for the for the weekend uh, but you know we haven't made a, a final call on it yet now here's your preview with rotherham once again here's the coach courtesy of our friends at swans tv and youtube well, most, a lot of their games, and you know, they've even in the games that they've not won, they've been, um, you know, really competitive and really in the games. And you know, some some things just knock on their their way. You know, I, I looked at them against Norwich, for example, and they they were one nil up for a large spell, but they could have been two or three, including missing missing a penalty. So, um, you know, just like we felt against Coventry, you know, these teams that have I know last year was a bit different with them not being able to quite see the season now, but they were a, a force in, in League One. And obviously when when you have a season like that, you know, players and teams are full of confidence and um, you know, and their points returners, you know, I wouldn't speak for them, but you know, they've 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 picked up some some good points or, or, already. So um and certainly have been in 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 every game that they've played. So they you know they have a, an obvious way of playing that is with and without the ball, which is, you know, works really well for them. And um like every game, we've got to make sure that we match that as best we can, and but try and impose our our style on it as well, particularly with us playing playing at home. So um, it, we know it's a game we've absolutely got to be got to be ready for, and um, and that's the plan. All right, let's take a look at the juice boxes and let you know how things stand in the championship. We'll let you know what the standings are as well. When it comes to juice boxes, Friday two forty five, Coventry City hosting Birmingham. Folks are looking at that one pretty much as a draw across the board. Uh, only 17 points separating the two, plus 181 to Coventry, plus 164 for Birmingham. Now, 7.30 Saturday morning, Bournemouth listed as a minus 133 favorite against the team top of the table, who's lost their last three in Reading, who's at a plus 387. Barnsley and Nottingham pretty much looked at as a draw. Bristol City a plus 123 favorite, hosting the bottom dweller, Darby County, who's at a plus 231. Luton Town, a big underdog at home, plus 225 to Blackburn coming in at plus 122. Middlesbrough and Norwich kind of looked at as a draw. Even numbers across the board, your draw is a plus 225. Millwall, plus 152 at home, hosting Cardiff. Your draw is a plus 215. Preston North End, a big favorite at home, plus 125 going up against Sheffield Wednesday, who's a plus 234 because they're next to last in the table. At a plus 225, that's your draw. QPR, plus 231, hosting Watford, a plus 127. Your draw also at a plus 230. Stoke, minus 101 hosting Huddersfield, who are north of plus 300 to win that match. Swansea and Rotherham, the one we're looking at, minus 137 for the Swans at Liberty. Rotherham, north of plus 400. Your draw is a plus 272. Wickham and Brentford. Wickham, a plus 562 at home, hosting Brentford. And Brentford is a minus 185. Your draw is on the north side of plus 308. Action in the midweek as well, and we'll get into that in just a second. You got action on the 24th and the 25th. Swansea hosting Sheffield Wednesday right now. Swansea even money plus 100. Sheffield Wednesday bordering a plus 300 as they head 
to the Liberty for a matchup that happens on Wednesday. We'll recap both of those matches as well. Now let's take a peek at the standings and see how things are heading into this weekend. Once again, things will change between now and next week. Right now, Reading has lost their last three. They're still top of the table at 22 points. Then the log jam happens. Watford at uh, 21 points. They're ahead on goals scored over Norwich, who's also at 21. Bournemouth is fourth at 20. They're ahead in goal difference over Bristol City. Swansea sixth at 19. Middlesbrough is at 18 ahead of Stoke on goal difference. Millwall's at 17 points in ninth. Luton Town is 10th. Brentford 16 points in 11th. Blackburn ahead of Huddersfield for goal difference. 12th and 13th at 14 points. Bunch of teams at 13 points, and it gets into wins, and then it gets into a goal difference. Preston North End, Cardiff, Barnsley, Birmingham, QPR takes you down to 19th. Rotherham is 19th, currently at 3-3-5 and five at 12 points, ahead of Nottingham on goal difference and your relegation fight right now. Coventry City at 8 points, minus 11 in goal difference. They've lost four of their last five. Wickham, 7 points in the relegation zone, although they have won two of their last three. Sheffield Wednesday, remember, they had their 12-point uh, penalty that started the season halved on appeal. They are at six points, and Darby County right now at the bottom of the table in six points as well. Remember, Philippe Kosu no longer head coach. Wayne Rooney, a part of a couple of guys who are caretakers for the time being. That's another trip down Normandy Road. We'll recap the action that happened. Two matches, one on the weekend, one in the midweek. Play it safe, everybody. We'll see you next time.